Dark Jedi. Oh, wow. They're throwing down some force powers on us. It's not the slowest down. I'm not sure what that is. Right, I'm going to use my improved power attack, see what I can do to these guys. Oh, yeah, they're throwing down all kinds of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot, I think Joe Lee's about to die. I mean, Joe Lee's about to die. Uh, crap. Um... Oh, this isn't good. I don't want to lose this fight. So let's stay alive. Come on, heal yourself. Heal yourself! Oh, he died! He didn't heal himself in time. Alright, well, I better get this down. I better get this fight over with quickly. Okay, he's got less health. He needs to go going after him. Oh, don't be missing. It's crazy. 22. Oh, man, he's got a lot of health. Okay, I'm backing up. Oh man, there's still three of them? Are you kidding me? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. minute. Med pack. Oh, I can't heal her, she just died. Shoot. That's very bad. We got improved power attack, so hopefully we can... Who's got the least health? You do. So you're my target, dude. Man, they're laying down the damage on me. Holy crap, I don't want to die. This is insane. Oh, dude, no, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool. I'm just gonna heal myself up here. I got a bunch of these med packs, so. We'll win the fight through healing if we have to. I'm not afraid to win the fight that way. Oh, man, this video is running really long. I have to just record for two. There we go. Alright, let's power attack this guy. Oh, you can't be missing him! Oh, it's crazy. I gotta, I gotta quit power attacking. I'm just missing all the time. And it's useless that way. Come on, take that guy out! He's got like a sliver of health left. There. Alright, there's one down. Alright, the fact that our character has such high constitution and so much health is the only reason we even had a chance there. There's one guy left. Let's see if I can't just take him out. There, that's a good hit there. Come on, finish him off. These guys must have really high dexterity because they're difficult to hit. There we go. All right. I just need to refill my health, my health meter, one whole meter, and that gave me enough of a boost to finish three of them off. Another John Rowe crystal. Let's pick this guy. Let's see what he's got. Three of them. Wow. I wonder what those do. I guess we'll find out. So we'll heal. Switch to Jolie. Let him do some healing too. Try to get the rest of the party to stand up straight. <laughs> Some of them, well, somebody just actually used it automatically, I think. There we go. Now our force powers are drained, but we're good to go. Alright, slice and dice. <laughs> Somebody's choking the heavy trooper there. Very nice. Oh, somebody just threw a grenade at us. Probably one of the grenadiers in here. Alright, Joe Lee's got a poison on him, so if we use heal, that'll actually remove the poison as well. Sure. Here we go. When somebody's stunned like that, using power attack on them, has a much higher chance of hitting them. Because I think that their two hit is just drops, or their evasion drops quite a lot, so you'd be surprised. Alright, what's in the desk? It's just a computer. I'm not going to waste my two spikes by just slicing in and not being able to do anything. Alright, so we'll continue through in here. And this is the point that you'll get stuck if you don't have the quest about the missing Selkath youth. You'll get to a door up here that's locked and has, there's no way to open it. There's no computer you can hack to open it. There's nothing. And that, I got stuck there in my practice file, actually. I got kind of pissed. <laughs> anyway, here in the barracks, we're probably just going to get to kill some more Sith. We're working our way over to where the missing Selkath are. I'm not actually sure what you need to do once you find them. I've never done that quest before, to be honest with you. I've never actually bothered to try and do all any of the side quests here on my non because I, I hated the main quest elements of it so much I just decided just to ignore the rest of the planets so I could get out of here more quickly. I feel like some other players have probably done something similar to that. Uh, what's in here? Oh, it's these two droids. You don't have to fight these guys uh, if you don't want to. But the fact that they're here and they give good experience, 500 for one of them, so that's a thousand experience for the pair. That's pretty good, actually. And they don't have really high evasion, so my improved power attack is working quite nicely taking this guy out. Their standard... wait, that didn't kill him? Dang. Their standard attacks are pretty weak too, so... 
The only thing you have to watch out for is their special attachments like frame, like flame throwers, or their uh, freeze guns that they have occasionally. What are you doing here? Hello, I'm seeing Sulkath Youth. What are you doing? Yeah, he won't actually open the door. Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, he won't be there to open the door unless you have the quest. So, and then you have to fight him, I guess. Oh, you went after us. Okay. Not sure what I have to do about that. Okay, let's see. The desk here is a footlocker. Credits, credits, med pack, alright. Alright, what's in here? Kind of a plus shape area. Four rooms. Hello. Hey, it's Shasa. Intruders! Should we sound the alarm, Shasa? No, wait. We cannot always be running to the masters for help. Wait a minute, you're female? That's a female. We should handle this on our own. Perhaps this is a test they've prepared for us. What are you doing here? Only masters and apprentices are allowed in here. Uh, I'm Poncho. What are you guys doing here? The Sith are teaching us mastery of the Force. Our alliance with the Sith will bring us strength to m will bring strength to Manon and the Silkath people. Uh, they're evil and lying to you. That's propaganda. <laughs> that is actually, but still. The Sith are the victims of lies and half-truths. They're not monsters, no more than the Republic. The Sith have promised to guide us in the use of the Force as a sign of their good faith. And once the Republic is defeated, the Sith will have, pro have promised to withdraw from Renan and respect our independence. <laughs> um, let's see. If the Republic is defeated, the Sith are going to enslave your planet. Spare us your lies. The Sith have treated us with nothing but respect and honor. You speak as if we are prisoners here, but we can leave whenever we wish. Our friend Gallus chose to leave, and he must return safely to his home in Otto City. Shasa, what if they speak the truth? Remember what happened to Taurus. Taurus is nothing but a Republic lie. If the Sith are such monsters, then prove it to us. Surely there must be some evidence of the horrors they commit. Wait a minute, do I have any evidence? Um. <laughs> They'll use you to conquer Madon for Colto. So you say. But why should we believe you? We need physical proof, not the words of some Republic sympathizer. Uh, give me some time, I'll find proof. Uh, force persuade, they're evil. You want to leave this place. Uh, I think they're evil. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> oh, is this how you win an argument? I would have thought it easier to prove the evil of the dark side than that. Yes, the Sith are evil. We must leave and never come back. <laughs> oh, come on. Quickly, we must flee this foul embassy and warn our people against the plot to corrupt the Manan youth. Do I get dark side points for that? I hope not. Huh, 700 experience, though. Huh. Well, then. Med packs, thank you. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Joey's like, it would have been, wouldn't it have just been easier to convince them that the Sith, the Sith are evil? Uh, not actually true, I don't think. Okay. Looks like these guys want to fight us. These assault droids are pretty windy. They don't have much health at all. Is this apprentice not gonna be reasoned with? I guess not. You're fighting a character that's gonna stop in the middle of a fight and talk to you. They're, they'll become invincible for a moment. Well, we can go through here, can't we? I'm gonna save those level ups for mid battle. Because I think that, you know, like How I say, get in here? wait. I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Well, let me guess. You intend to collect this reward, right? Master, give us the honor of aiding you in destroying this enemy of the Sith. See? What did I tell you? As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. <laughs> Spoilers, he loses. Let's go with our power attack. Dark Jedi Master. Now what you might want to do is actually go after the, the youth first. So I think I'm going to shuffle my characters around here. Get some things going. Let's see if we can't uh, kill one apprentice. And then kill the other. Switch to Ju Juhani. Let's have her use Force Lightning a couple times. What is it? Let's see how that goes. What? We'll have our main just go straight for the the big boss here. Let our other pair take take out the cell cap youth. Yeah, you can see he's choking on the right there. That's Julie taking him out. Very nice. Should have half of his health gone at least. 
So Jolie should, even Jolie's uh, lightsaber abilities should be more than enough to finish him off without any trouble. Or he could just use like five more powers. I guess he's being a support character. He pushes him against the wall. It's hilarious. Oh, we got the master before the Selkath Apprentice went down. That's crazy. Stood up longer than his master did. Alright, double bladed lightsaber, a Luxum crystal, and a dark Jedi Master robe. Can I wear that? I bet you I could. I don't know, I'm light side. It might be limited to the dark side characters. Med packs. I like how they give you med packs in the foot lockers in the room of the fight is. You can't actually open the foot lockers during a fight. <laughs> What's in here? Another foot locker. Hello. A data pad. Oh, I guess if I came in here and killed him and then went back to the youth then that data pad would be all the evidence I would need. So, I guess if you don't want to use your Force Persuade powers for some reason, even though you don't get dark side points for it, uh, sure. because you're persuading them to believe the truth, which I guess that can't really be evil, can it? I don't know. Okay, so what's next here? I've actually never fought that guy before. <laughs> like I say, I've never, done I've never done this quest area. I think there's one more door that I haven't been through. Medical room. What's going on? Tell Shasa the Sith. What? Tell her what? Dude, you kicked him in the head. Are you serious? He <laughs> slaps him on the head. This tortured Selkath was holding some was holding some sort of token. Tortured? Dude, that's not cool. Yeah. So as you can see, the Sith are not uh, treating the Selkath youth very nice. Got some torture victims in here. Other ones have been brainwashed. And that's about it. Okay, so now we're gonna get the heck out of this base. Who's got speed boost? Yeah. Is that you, honey? Let's see how fast we can get out of here. Just follow the map. I'm not even gonna look at the screen. Can't get through that way. We're gonna have to go back through that water puzzle, but it should be easy since the puzzle should still be in its solved state. Shouldn't give us any trouble. At least I hope not. Only so much you can do. Open this door. Yeah, there's actually four doors, but there's three rooms that you have to have empty. Um, we can go this way. This will work. This will take us to the front desk area once we go through this little antechamber where we came in. Zip through here, and out the base we go. The door's still open from when we opened it at the beginning. <laughs> wow. That's crazy that the door's just like, still sitting open. Like, nobody happened to walk by and close the front door to the Sith base. The Republic could have come in and just destroyed everything. <coughs> oh man, it's hard to talk for 40 minutes straight. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's get back to business here. So I think the next thing that we need to do on this planet is... Oh wow, what is this? Oh right, this always happens. You there, human. You are placed under the arrest of the Otto City Civil Authority. What?! Though the Sith Embassy here is considered sovereign territory of the Sith Empire, we've been monitoring an alarming number of weapon discharges and detonations from within the base. Injuries to the staff of the Embassy yielded no... or inquiries to the staff of the Embassy yielded no response. It would seem that contact has been cut. Our cameras recorded you entering the base shortly before contact was lost and fighting began. In the conclusion, you are responsible for the disturbance here and you will hereby place under arrest. You will come with us to await your trial. As witnesses, the, the individuals who accompany you will be detained at your vessel, and the vessel itself prohibited from leaving Manan. We will leave. Now, do not attempt to resist, or we shall resort to overwhelming force. And there's not even a chance to try and buck the system. It's a cutscene. <laughs> you can't escape. A thousand years ago, the long-forgotten Sith returned to the Republic, and the Great Hyperspace War began. I wonder where the Sith have been hiding for so long. Greetings, human. I am called Bulahas, and I have been selected as your arbiter for the duration of your trial. Really? I don't need anyone to represent me. You're just going to get me killed. While it is true that you do have that right, I would recommend against it. Due to your confinement, you have not had much of a chance to build up evidence to pursue your case. Also, I do not believe you awful just truly understand the minds of we sell cast. It would be best if you left your defense up to me. Um, how are you going to get me free, then? I would first like to ask you a few questions regarding the events that led to your arrest. I've already been given all the relevant data, so that can be disregarded. For what reason did you enter the embassy? Er, uh, <laughs> I was invited! Indeed, that would explain the reason a pass card for entry was found on your person. 
What is your prior association with the Sith? <laughs> I'm on a mission to stop them from taking over the galaxy. I have no prior association. Indeed. Since you have a pass card to the base, I can only assume you believe taking this route would lessen your sentence. Very well. That should be all the information I require of you for now. If you wish, we can begin the trial whenever you're ready. Wait, don't you need to ask anything else? I have all the information I need. We should proceed now. You're going to kill me. I think this trial is relatively straightforward. It should be the obvious to the judges what has transpired. I think I'd rather represent myself. That is your right, but I strongly recommend against it. I am well versed in the, all the necessary particulars of this case and of Sulkath law. You would do well to heed my advice. I said no, fishhead. You all fools are not known for your mental prowess. I shall leave your demise up to you. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, like those two droids and that one Sulkath guard are going to keep me in here. While you have proven the Sith to manip be manipulative and deceitful in their activities here in Monon, I believe you have a much harder time defending your actions now. Some things go too far, Offworlder. You stand accused of the grievous murder of many Sith and extensive property damage to their embassy here. How do you plead? I plead you're stupid and they're going to kill you all if the Republic loses this war. I mean... Uh, <laughs> I tell. You will not tolerate insolence. You will obey the rules of this court or you will be summarily found guilty. Uh, I plead not guilty. While well, the record showed this trial has commenced, presiding are judges Shelkar, Josa, yeah, Naka Laka Laka Laka, Koten, and Duda. Dula! This trial is to determine the culpability and punishment of the individual in the recent assault of infamacy. Given the severity, we can dispense with the normal formalities of the court and proceed directly. <laughs> you have pleaded not guilty, yet there were reports of weapons fire and detonations from within the Sith Embassy. You were seen entering and leaving the embassy. The Sith have not conferred with their authorities about have not conferred with the authorities about this matter. But from all available evidence it would seem that you are the source of the disturbance. What is your explanation for being there? Um I was investigating the disappearance of young Selkath. You believe the Sith has something to do with the disappearance? This off world has probably been listening to Shalos and his rumor mongering. Most likely. Do you have any proof to back up your assumption, human? Have the Sith been implicated? I have this data pad as proof. Let it be noted the court has taken this new evidence into consideration. Hmm. This is... most disturbing. The court will join for a brief period to verify this evidence and discuss its importance. And so they got off and read the data pad, of course. We have verified that this is indeed a Sith data pad, indicating their complicity, complicity in a plot to overflow the lawful government of Manan. In gratitude for having discovered this heinous offense, all charges against you regarding this incident will be dropped. Pending a suitable penalty against the Sith, their embassy is considered off-limits to all security personnel. No calls or incidents from within their base will be attended to until this matter is dealt with, as they are no longer subject to the protection of Selkath law. You have been found innocent and may leave as you desire. This trial is now over. Yes, yeah, so if you have the data pad, they let you off easy, pretty much. <laughs> yes? Alright. Let's go ahead and get some level ups here. Jolie. Um... Treat injury? Why not? What powers does he not have yet? Any more offensive capabilities we can give him? Stasis. Stasis field. Um, force shield. What is that? Uh, this is drain life. I think I'm going to go for the drain life death field. Uh, things with him. Oh, he won't be able to get death field for a long time. Okay, we want her to have... Well, I want her to have stealth, but I can't raise it any higher, so... Treat injury it is. What power does she need to have? <laughs> what is this? Oh, we finished off the affliction line. Plague causes th the target to suffer as, th as though deathly ill from poison, losing 12 points from each physical attribute. The target is also slowed. Wow, making it impossible to save against its effects. Holy crap. So you basically just make the person extremely weak for an extended period, and there's no way they can get out of it. That's nasty. Alright, so we did get the data pad for the Republic while we were in there. Uh, of course, we're back here in the same trial, the same courtroom where Sunry was being tried. So now we need to go back to the Republic Embassy and give them the data we found from their missing droid. Where are you guys? Why are you still back in the courtroom, Juhani? Seriously? You're crazy. Get over here. Get over here! Let's see if we can leave now. Thank you! Yeah, like I say, this planet, there's a lot of moving around, and it takes a while to get through the main quest. There's nothing, there's nothing really direct about it, and there's no quick way, honestly. Oh, actually, you know what? We we finished that self-calf disappearance thing, didn't we? 
Ah, maybe we should have gone into that bar again and went ahead and gotten our 500 credits and completed that quest. What, what area are we in now of the city? West Central? Yeah, I'm actually going to go back. Whoops. <laughs> go back to Otto West, and we can go up to that bar and talk to the Selkath who wanted us to investigate the youth disappearance, and he'll give us our 500 credits as well as finish off the quest for us. We haven't done the Republic one yet because... Like I say, we haven't really had a chance to get into the Republic base and, and really look for anything there. I'm not sure if we really would find anything either, to be honest. I, I, I don't know. I've never done that quest before, so I don't know how it ends. Are you the one that... No, you're not. It's this guy over here, isn't it? Hello. You returned. Have you information for me? Have you discovered the fate of my missing Silcath youth and my daughter? Alright, um... we got better things to do. Be your errand slave. I found something. Excellent, you've done well. What have you learned? The, they're training uh, the Silkath youth in the ways of the Dark Jedi. This makes sense. It is a wonder that I did not see this before. Manan's greatest strength is our neutrality. If Malak... Mal Malak... <laughs> oh god. If Malak brainwashes our youth and doc indoctrinates them from the ways of the Sith, we will have a strong following among the Sith Silkath people. Strong enough to seize control of Manan and our culto. My daughter Shasa. She too has been indoctrinated into this camp? Don't worry, I convinced your daughter to turn her back on the Sith. If you speak the truth, I am forever in your debt. And yet my joy is tempered by the knowledge that the Sith still walk freely about Manan. Hopefully the testimony of my daughter will be enough proof of their actions to make Auto City authorities take action. You've done much for me, human. Here are the credits I promised you. I only wish I had more to give. Oh, well, thanks, man. This is how we Jedi should always act. With honor. Please excuse me for now, human. I must go speak with the Manan authorities about this Sith plot and what they have done to my beloved daughter. So basically, we've already we've already done that sure. uh, quest line, though, haven't we? We've already handled the whole case. They find you guilty, and, they, and you hand them the data pad. And it's like, oh no, I'm not sure if they can. I don't think they actually get in trouble for this. You suck at you thing. As I'm supposed to say, they do get in trouble for the uh, objecting to the government plot. Oh come on, let us leave. Let us leave. No, where's the rest of my party? Are you serious, Juhani? Where are you? What are you doing? Why why are you just standing there? It's so weird how they just they get caught on corners and they can't handle it. And this city is is like the worst place for it. It seems to happen much more often here than it does anywhere else. I mean we didn't have this we didn't have this problem well actually we did have that problem pop up once or twice on Dantooine, but still. Alright, so I think in the next episode we're gonna make our next steps towards finishing the main plot on this planet. We're gonna head back to the Republic base or Republic Embassy there on Manan. We're going to give them back their data for their droid, and that Roland Wan, the Song of Roland, is going to tell us all about everything he knows about the ancient star map, which hopefully will be its exact location. So, uh, see you guys next time. I'm going to meet you at the base.